happy, playful little girl. On the evening she disappeared, April Jones had been swimming. Within two hours, her hair still wet, she was abducted. It's been 36 hours since April was taken from us. There must be someone out there who knows where she is. The hours that followed left April's mother, Coral, desperate. She could only plead for her daughter's return. April is only five years old. Please, please help find her. As the police helicopter scoured the local countryside, by chance its camera picked out Mark Bridger. As hundreds searched frantically for April, he was out walking his dog. Smoke billowed from his cottage where, later, fragments of a child's skull would be found in the fireplace. The police moved to arrest Bridger when they learned he'd been on the Brinagorg estate where April lived. Her friend had seen April climb into his car. Bridger told officers he'd been in an accident, claiming he'd run over April before panicking. He couldn't remember what he'd done with the body, but the investigation soon unravelled his story. The police search of Mark Bridger's home uncovered his fascination for local schoolgirls. He stored photos of them on his computer, alongside indecent images of children he downloaded from the internet, and photos of child murder victims, such as Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman, the two girls killed in Soham. Forensic teams found minute traces of blood which matched April's DNA, and alongside the bone fragments in the fire, Mark Bridger's knife. The revelations shocked those who'd lived alongside him in Machanthleth and considered Mark Bridger a friend. I've known him for like 15 years. Um, to think that the possibility was there was awful. And I know how my friends felt as well, that the possibility of that he had photos of, of them and their children, um, it was awful. For nearly seven months after April's disappearance, the police continued to look for her body. It became the largest search in UK force history. But only one person knows where her remains were hidden. During his trial, the court heard how Mark Bridger had suggested places the police could look. The golf course, the picnic area. They believe he is still trying to maintain control over the investigation. A Mark Bridge I would describe as an evil, a manipulative individual, clearly someone who likes to be in control. You know, our only hope from our perspective, clearly from the family's perspective, is that he will tell us what he actually did with April Jones. April's parents have endured months of speculation and uncertainty, reliving their daughter's disappearance each day in court. Today's verdicts may bring some comfort, but they don't answer the question that pains them the most. April Jones is still missing and no closer to being brought home. Howard Griffith, BBC News.